All right, guys, I want to give you a, you know, a brief overview of the platform. Now, you can list from the website, but I also want to give you an overview from the app. Uh, I use the app a lot more, and as you can see here, this is you know my profile. Now, I acquired maybe five followers like right off the bat the first week, and since then I haven't acquired any followers. But the key here is, and this is important, followers don't matter. They don't matter at all. Um, it's not like Poshmark where you're building your closet up. Uh, but what it is like is, you know, it, the, the followers are, are kind of irrelevant. I think I, I'm not sure exactly because I'm not, I haven't bought much off this, this app. I'm not sure the relevance of followers, but I've been selling a lot without followers. And actually I just hopped on maybe two months ago and a lot of my stuff has been selling fairly quickly. You can see I've sold a bunch of different things here, um, multiple things. And it's been moving pretty quick, and I don't even do this. I've kind of just been like playing around with it and seeing what I can sell and what I can get away with, what price is, so I can relay that information to you. And there's actually a high demand on Mercari for a lot of different things. You also see here, I acquired 20 reviews, um, which would have taken me a long time on Amazon, would have taken me a long time on eBay to get feedback, would have taken me a long time on Poshmark. Um, not that it's relevant on Poshmark, because it's not. Um, but you'll see here, I have 20 greats, five-star reviews, very, very easy. And people are, you know, as long as you're shipping the product that you're listing they're going to be you know completely cool with it uh so when you're you hit here if you look here at the bottom this is your your main seller hub the right uh guy person um then if you hit the middle you can actually list an item and sell it um you know you can upload a picture from your library or you can you know obviously just take a picture it's up to you uh discard the changes there um, but I also have seller badges, not that that seems re very relevant to me in my specific example, um, but you do want to confirm some of your stuff from this uh, this original screen. So it does say, look, I'm seller ready, um, but there's some things up here when you look at the top where it says BGG447, uh, you're going to want to confirm your email, you're going to want to confirm your phone, and then obviously there's the uh, opportunity to confirm your Facebook too. I didn't elect to do that and I still been have, sell I have still well been selling fine uh, without doing that. So I would recommend confirming, you know, as many things as possible. It just gives you more relevance on the platform. It makes you more believable, makes you more of a legitimate person when someone sees that you've been confirmed. Um, you know, that's my take on it at least. Uh, and, you know, obviously these badges are very, very, very important too, because when people come to your profile, they see that you are reliable, that you are a quick shipper and you're going to ship out fast. So they know that they're going to get their product fast and you, you're fast to respond to any comments if they might have an issue with the product or a question on a specific listing those are important um and i don't know why it says i'm a member since 2017 because i am not that's very very strange uh, maybe i joined it in 2017 um and then deleted it that's very possible but the i've only been on this for about two months now um so it should say 2018 now you'll see here buying um you know i don't typically buy but if you are buying then it shows you the things that you've ordered um and if you w do want to buy for whatever reason you can go to this home tab on the left at the bottom and sort through a bunch of things um, now obviously if you can land a product on one of these home tabs then that are one of these home like featured things that's you know great for you and you're going to get a lot of eyes on your product, but you can search for anything. Basically what Mercari is, is it's a search engine. Uh, so if you want to do, you know, product research, see, you know, if anybody else is potentially selling, uh, you know, maybe you have, what's the most random thing I can think of. Maybe you have a, um, I don't know, a, a Pokemon Pikachu that's so random, but like, like a Pikachu stuffed animal. And you want to see if anybody's selling a Pikachu stuffed animal. Well, you can search for peak. I don't even know how to spell that Pikachu. Pikachu. There we go. And it looks like people are selling this. And you can also see, okay, there's a couple of different uh, sold animal, sold things. You can check out the, uh, you know, what other people are selling them for, what other people have sold them for, and, the, you know, your competition. Because if everybody's priced at $10 and you price yours at, you know, 50 well, you're not going to sell that. So it's important to do a little bit of, you know, product research here and there. You can see that this one sold for $10, even though it's not a stuffed animal. Um, that's just like what I like to do typically. Um, but that's pretty much how Mercari works. Now, if we go back to the right tab over here um, and you hit selling, that's where you're going to manage all your listings. Now, one of the things that, that I like to do is, you know, you can go back in and edit them, obviously. And, uh, this is, I'm going to show you all this when I go take you through example listings. So obviously you have your profile picture or your, not your profile pictures, your pictures up top. Uh, you do need to have, you can't have all stock photos. And this, as you can see here, there's six photos on this listing. 
all of them are stock photos so you're gonna want to take an actual physical picture you actually have to physically have an item to take a physical picture you can't list all stock photos so uh you know i have if i've listed all stock photos sometimes you can get away with it but sometimes they'll pull your listings down too i should probably add one here but i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna do that after this video um then obviously you only have 40 characters to list in your you know your your title categorize it um, now just like anything so on Poshmark on eBay on Amazon you're gonna want to stuff keywords as much as possible into your you know your uh, description so if you have a Pikachu uh, stuffed animal random again uh, you know you're gonna want to maybe use the word Pokemon uh, or you know Pikachu or uh, you know uh, anything else that has is relevant to that when you're describing your item uh, and you know stuff your your description as as big or as as much full of keywords as possible that are relevant because that's how you're gonna rank in the search engine that is Mercari search uh, then you have three hashtags at the bottom, uh, which also help search results. And uh, finally, uh, well, this is something I'm going to talk about too. You can offer free shipping or you don't have to. I recommend offering free shipping. Uh, it, it increases sales. I think Mercari claims that it increases sales 15%. Obviously, you're going to take any boost that you can get. Here, you can update it, delete, and activate your listing. So if I wanted to change the, the listing price here, I could change it to like 13 bucks, and you'll see you make 7 bucks because I offer shipping. Uh, and that's pretty much how you do it. I'm going to X out here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Play around with it. Um, but it's really, really easy to list. Now, another thing that we're going to talk about, and I might actually add a lecture on to this, is you can promote. Now, you can promote to if your item is, is high enough, and obviously your price is key, and that's something we're going to talk about later, um, and do your product research. That's also key. You can promote it to everyone, like you see here. So you can promote it you know, publicly. You just have to reduce the price. I believe it's 10%. Um, let's see oh five percent so it has to be five percent which isn't that much or you can simply promote it to the likers and you see here with this this gold watch right here has two likes and 28 views uh so you can promote it to those two likers but you just have to drop the price a uh, certain amount so if i wanted to promote this to those likers i can promote it for like 16 bucks to those likers and just send them kind of a deal and that does prompt sales i've i've seen another great thing is you'll see here like some things i list and they don't get very many views and some things i list and like right away they're getting 50 views so clearly those are high demand items play around with it and see what you can get away with and sell um but there seems to be a lot of people looking and searching for for items even the most random and obscure items like these oral b brawn uh, replacement toothbrush heads i had a bunch of these as arbitrage products from amazon and ebay that i was trying to flip and just kind of list on mercari as i was testing things out and i think i've sold like three or four of these already um there's one two three, it looks like i've only sold two of them but i've sold two of them already and they've only been up for like a week or two so you can sell the most obscure and random things on here there's a you know there there is a a market for them you would be surprised uh, and this I just listed earlier again I think yesterday and it's already got 12 views uh, again so people are clearly looking for stuff like that uh, you would be surprised so just kind of want to give you an overview obviously you can see your completed listings here in the top right you can see your in progress listings. so these are things I'm shipping out uh, and have shipped out and I'm waiting for a rating um, and depending on how fast you ship and what shipping options you use um, and if you elect to use the Mercari shipping then I believe it's like retail ground which is like two to nine days uh, that's how fast you're gonna get paid uh, also your balance you can cash out when it's ten dollars or higher so that's just like an overview of the platform like i said i don't really use the buying that much um, i don't really worry about my likes that much or anything like that but you can play around with it if you want you know you can go into your settings and, and obviously switch your stuff around you want to put in your um your bank account uh, so that you can obviously collect the payments but that's pretty much all you need to know i just wanted to give you an overview of the platform from the, the app point of view because i use the app a lot more um, but like i said the, the number one key here guys is just do your product research know your market and know what your competition is listing it at so you know if the, a there's a market for it and b what you can sell it at so that you can make markup uh but that's that's pretty much it i'm telling you if you just i dare you to just list a couple of things on mercari you would be surprised how many views you get and i bet you you would even get a sale and it would blow your mind and that would inspire you to list more stuff as it's inspired me to because i've been seeing that i can make an extra extra you know honestly like a couple hundred bucks every month just listing the most random stuff that i would that would just collect dust in my house anyway if i might have extra arbitrage products that are laying around that you know i didn't sell on ebay or amazon it's basically free money and same thing for you if you have random stuff laying around the house and as always too 
come back for the the lecture um, a little bit later on in the course where I give you free and cheap products to that you can basically get rid of um, where you can collect you know like a dollar product and then flip it back on Mercari for a profit of like five bucks um, and there are also other ways to get free products that I'm going to show you too so great great stuff coming I just wanted to give you an overview let's hop in to the next lecture all right so I want to talk a little bit about how fast my Mercari store has grown now when I initially recorded this course and the first version of this course actually went out right I might have been like 10 to 20 reviews deep and one of the because I, I check like all the reviews Reviews and I check all the comments I'm constantly trying to improve my you know my information products so that they're easily implement easier excuse me implemented by students and that you know they get more results for people and one of the reviews that I saw and a comment on one of the videos was like this guy doesn't even know what he's talking about like why would I listen to this guy he's got 20 reviews he clearly doesn't know what he's doing he's clearly not very experienced so I understand where that comes from, number one, but that said, I do know what I'm doing because clearly I have 253 reviews and I'm five star average. So I was selling in that, you know, that span of time. I was just so excited about the platform because I saw what it was doing for me currently that I wanted to turn that into a course to share that information and knowledge with other people. So let me ask you a question really fast because I, I get, I feel like people are misled with this logic a little bit and I want to kind of correct the path so that you understand, you know, why it's important to listen to some of the old lectures as well, as well as not, you know, have that same mindset as the person that commented, you know, on the old course, on the old version that was like, this guy has 20 reviews, why would I listen to him? Well, that said, you should definitely still listen to me now because I'm not, I'm nowhere like, you know, all the way up here with, you know, my Mercari store, right? So I only have 253 reviews, so I'm still fairly new, but clearly I've sold, you know, 253 things and I know what I'm doing at this point in time. But let me ask you a question. Like, let's take any normal entrepreneur, right? Let's say like Mark Cuban's a good example because a lot of people will like understand who he is because he's on Shark Tank and he also owns the Dallas Mavericks. So yes, he can give you great advice right now, right? But like, let's say he was giving advice, you know, or talking in an everyday lecture, he turned something into a course, right? Would you rather listen to where you currently are right now, where you are right now? Would you think you were, you'd be better off taking advice from Mark Cuban right now? or advice from Mark Cuban 15, 20 years ago. Now, the majority of people would say that you'd be better off taking advice from Mark Cuban right now because he's been through those 20 years extra, right? He has more insight. He has more anecdotal experience that he can then parlay off to you. But I actually disagree. Obviously, you'd learn a lot from either one, right? But for beginners or people just getting into it, hence what, how I'm tying this back into you as somebody just learning about Mercari or trying to grow your Mercari store, right? If, I, if it were me, right, I'm way closer to where Mark Cuban was 20 years ago, right, rather than where he is now. So I would benefit off more off of learning from where he was when he was actually in the process doing what he was doing to get to where he is now, right? Because that's the information and insight I would want to take action on to then potentially get to where he is, right? Too often people go to somebody that's like all the way up here, and that's actually not what you wanna do. Instead, if you're all the way at the bottom, Instead of going to somebody all the way at the top, what you want to do is you want to just go to the next level up or like a couple levels up, right? And figure out what they did because they'll be more entrenched in, be in being able to understand from your perspective. So they'll be able to teach you a little bit better of what you can do to get from here to here, right? And then once you hit this level, then you want to look for a, a level or two above and you want to get information from those people and then you want to move up the level, right? If you start all the way at the bottom and you try to get information from all somebody all the way up here selling, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every day or somebody that's a billionaire, chances are there's going to be a big gap in between and a big learning curve and you're not going to retain very much or get any insight off that information. Am I saying you can't learn anything from Mark Cuban no, of course not. You can learn a lot from him. What I am trying to say is just because you look at something and somebody's not, you know, to give an example, right, to tie it back to the Mercari, you would honestly be a lot, you, you'd get a lot of value learning from the Brian that, you know, basically created version one of the course that, that only had 20 reviews and was literally in the trenches doing what you need to be doing now to learn and continue to grow your closet, right? So what I'm trying to say is there's value in both, right? Obviously, I'm, I'm not all the way up where Mark Cuban is on the Mercari scale, but what I'm trying to say is don't sleep on that information. Figure out who's a step or two above you, learn from them and move up. Figure out who's a step or two above that, learn from that, move up. So I just wanted to bring, you know, how quickly my store has grown. 
It's probably only been like six months and I already have 253 reviews. I've made, I think, close to like 1,500 on Mercari already and it's a little side gig for me. I love it. And literally all this is profit, right? So it's like a little side business, side gig for me that's profit, that's fun. And obviously the more you get reviews on your account, the more, just like eBay or anything like that, right? The more reviews that you get on your account, the more social proof you will have, which will then mean that you can sell more items and you can sell them for a higher profit margin. So I have 253 reviews. Obviously, all the stuff currently I have two sales I need to get out that already happened today. And I have a lot of other inventory here that was all given to me for free and for cheap, just like I'm going to show you how to source in this course. So what I'm trying to say is don't sleep on any of this info. There will be mixed info in with new lectures. There will be mixed info in with old lectures from the original version. But make no mistake, this version of the course will definitely help you start selling on Mercari and make it turn it into a full-time business if you want, but also just earn a couple hundred or a couple thousand extra, you know, depending on where you want to scale it up to on the side every single month. So with that being said, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's jump in. All right, guys, now I wanna talk about other related marketplaces that you can branch out and list other items if you should so be inclined to do so. Um, but honestly, Mercari is a great marketplace because, uh, and this is something I'm gonna talk about a lot, is there's no hidden fees. You know exactly what your profit margin is, you know exactly what your shipping costs, and you know exactly what you're going to make. However, with eBay and Amazon, there are sometimes hidden fees. For example, if you list on eBay, you list the same item, and you can list on the same items on Mercari as you can on eBay. You can list the same items on Mercari as you can on Amazon and on Poshmark. But with Amazon or with Amazon and eBay, there are some hidden fees. So if you list an item on eBay, let's say you sell five hundred dollars worth of products on eBay that month, right? And you know you might pay fifty bucks in shipping through PayPal because eBay charges through PayPal. Well, you might think, oh, I made four hundred fifty bucks selling products on, on eBay, but you didn't because you're gonna hit with, be hit with like a bill at the end of the month from eBay, uh, which are product fees. So that that might be like a hundred bucks. That might be seventy bucks. It depends on your sale price. They take ten percent of that, and PayPal also takes a cut on eBay. So. It, they're hidden fees there, and and that's what I don't like about eBay. I love eBay, trust me, but that is one thing, especially for beginners, uh, that people don't realize when they're selling on eBay. They don't realize that uh, you know they didn't make all the money that they thought that they made uh, because they're gonna hit, get hit with that fee at the end of the month, and that can be misleading. Um, eBay's a great marketplace, but it's just something to keep in mind. Now, on Amazon, I sell a lot on Amazon as well, uh, but you do get charged merchant uh, fees when you list products merchant fulfilled on Amazon, which basically means that you're the one shipping it out and fulfilling the order and doing the customer service, and you get hit with even more fees when you ship into FBA. So don't get me wrong, I love it, it's totally worth it, but there are other fees that are underlying that you're not aware of uh, you know, until you get the, the bill, and you don't get the bill on Amazon because they deduct it from your seller account, like you do get a bill on eBay, they'll literally charge you PayPal wise. Um, whereas Amazon just deducts out of your profit from the seller account. But you might, you know, have like 500 bucks, or you know, sometimes with me, it's like eight grand in there. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I'm sitting at like 7,600, and I'm like, what the heck happened? Well, Amazon took their fees out. That's what happened. Uh, so that's, you know, it, it, it varies from Amazon to eBay, but there are hidden fees on both Amazon and eBay, even though they are my favorite marketplaces to sell on. Now, with a site like, I'm not going to get into Bonanza or, um, you know, Facebook Marketplace, which are also good ones, uh, although they are lower sales velocity than Amazon and eBay. Poshmark is a great site and, and probably the closest thing, in my opinion, to Mercari. The reason being is because there's no hidden fees. When you list on Poshmark, you're gonna see that potentially if, let's say that this, we're gonna go back to this example right here of the uh, the the whiteboard eraser. If I'm listing this, and obviously I wouldn't sell this for 20 bucks, but let's just hypothetically say that I'm gonna sell this on Poshmark or Mercari for 20 bucks. Uh, you know, I know that if I list this for 20 bucks, I'm gonna see right there, like I showed you on the Mercari app before, when I'm selling, and I might not be logged in, uh, my listings. If I go in here, let me find it really fast. Let's go to the Hydro Flask. And you'll notice here that if I edit this, it'll show you all the fees. So if I'm listing this for $9, right, because I am offering free shipping, which I will recommend to you later in the course, and I'm going to talk about exactly why. Uh, if I list this for nine bucks right here, well, I can see specifically that okay, they're taking a ten percent or a ten, uh, is that a ten percent? Yeah, ten, uh, they're taking a ten percent fee to sell it on there. Yeah, ten percent says right there. Uh, they're taking a ten percent selling fee, and obviously the shipping cost because I'm offering free shipping, so I'm paying for the shipping. So my net profit is three eighty five. There's no hidden fees there. It tells you exactly ten percent fee, the shipping cost. You're gonna make. 
385 from that. Now, if I were to sell this for 19 bucks, well, I would make 1285. Um, they're taking a dollar 90 out for sh for the selling fee and a 425 for the shipping cost, and I make 1285. There's no hidden fees. The same goes on Poshmark when you list on Poshmark, and obviously I'm not logged in right now. This course is about Mercari, but that's why I love Poshmark and Mercari for listing random stuff that's just like you know extra money in my experience because there's no hidden fees. If I were to list this on Amazon for 20 bucks, well, I might sell it for 20 bucks, but then I might and I might make 12, but then I, they're going to deduct like a three dollar fee uh, off the back end. If I were to list this on on eBay, even more misleading, you know, I might sell this for 20 and I might pay, you know, three bucks to ship it media mail. So I think I made 17, but then as I sell more and more things throughout the month, I'm not going to realize that eBay is slowly calculating fees that they're going to charge me at the end of the month. So there are hidden fees there. With Mercari, there are no hidden fees. It tells you straight up, this is what you're going to net. There's no more. They're not going to take any more from you. And that's why I love listing on Mercari. That's why I highly suggest that you list the same things on, you know, that you're, if you're planning on listing something on Amazon or Poshmark or eBay or Renanza or Facebook Marketplace, also listen on Mercari and use all the tactics that I'm going to show you in this course to flip it because you're going to know exactly what your net profit is and what you made. There's no hidden fees. All right, guys. So I showed you, obviously, there's the difference between the website and the app. So I already showed you the app. I'm obviously 90%, 90%. The majority of you are going to use 90% of your time on the app. Sometimes it is easier if you're pulling, you know, a listing from Amazon or you're pulling a listing from eBay or you're pulling a listing from somewhere else on the internet. It's easier to list it through sell now right here on the website. Um, but 90% of your time is probably going to be listed, you know, used on the app you know, when you're engaging and answering messages or, you know, filling or, or, you know, printing out orders for sales and stuff like that, which the, the, the thing just like Poshmark is emailed to your email and then you can print the, 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 um, label out right from your email. Super, super easy. Um, but I want to show you, you know, just briefly the website in case, you know, you do for whatever reason want to use the website. Like I said, the only time I'm ever on the website is if I'm listing something from Amazon. So if I'm pulling like a listing uh, from Amazon, I'll copy the pictures and then I'll enter the title, the description, all this other stuff on the actual web Mercari website. And then I'll obviously snap the picture uh, in person because you can't use all stock photos. Remember we said that. Uh, and then I'll, I'll list that at the end as the last picture. Um, so I just want to give you a brief rundown of the website. It's you know pretty self-explanatory, but you know we're just going to touch on it. Obviously, if you're going to sell something, hit sell now. These are your messages. These you can see where people have liked recently, and this is you know basically your seller hub. If you hit the little person, so it's same overall view. You know, 20 reviews. You see that you're confirmed. It's going to give you all your notifications and what's happened. Anything that you need to take action on. So if so you have a message that you need to answer, if you have a sale that you need to fulfill, stuff like that will show you your notifications, action required, the people that have, or the things that you have liked in case you want to potentially buy something. Um, obviously, up here, you can tell I'm never on the website because I have all, literally doing all this from the app and I have all these notifications and the action. Um, but typically, I'm on the app. Um, then obviously your listings, if you want to manage any listings, you're just going to click through here. Same thing goes. And I did this before when I showed you the hydro flask, you can manage the listing, see what it looks like to people when they're, so they're shopping for it, which is kind of cool and kind of valuable. Um, and just see what it looks like, you know, online. Um, you both kind of want to, it's, it's sometimes it's important to play the customer game and see what, what your listing looks like from the customer. It's also easier to do product research. And this is one other thing that I do online. Uh, you know, you don't always have to do it from the app. Sometimes it is easier to do product research and search the search bar, you know, on related items and see what they're listing at. So you can get a better overview and see multiple items, uh, and see what your competitors are selling it for. Uh, but that's basically it. You know, uh, that's really all there is on the website. Like I said, I don't really use it that much, but it can be more beneficial for some of you if you would rather use the website and you don't actually, you know, aren't that comfortable from your phone. But like I said, most of you are going to be spending 90% of your time listing and answering and fulfilling orders from the app. All right, guys. Now, I briefly want to talk about my experience with the platform. You know, the types of sales that I've made, how much I've actually made on the platform, and I believe roughly it's about a hundred bucks uh, so far. So, like I said, I've only been on this for like two months, and I barely listed anything. But now that I've seen my sales start ramping up, I will list a lot more because I've seen that there is a market for a lot of these things. It's crazy. I literally list something, and you know, I'm getting eyes on it almost immediately, and I'm getting you know sales pretty pretty fast. So, all these things have been listed re realistically in the you know the past week or two and I'm sure the great majority of them will sell now that you can list the most random stuff like this uh, you know stuff that you wouldn't be otherwise be able to index well on Amazon um, and you'll see that some of these things have been purchased now I've listed plaques in the past um, and you know it, it really depends in my opinion 
it, the majority of things are going to sell for that that gut shot price. And what I mean by gut shot price is if you know anything about e-commerce or you know getting people to buy, there's a there's a, a typical what's the word I'm looking for a typical uh, you know slot so to speak for lack of a better word where people are comfortable making a gut shot purchase and not really thinking about it too much that slot is really in between ten dollars and thirty dollars so that 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 window right there between 10 and 30 is where you want to list the majority of your products on Mercari because people are going to see ten dollars and thirty bucks and they're not really gonna think twice most people at least are not really gonna think twice about whether or not they want to purchase from from those products or not they're just going to make a gut shot emotional call because people buy based on emotion and use logic and reason to justify those purchases. So if you can keep it within that slot, that $10 to $30 window, you're going to sell a lot more. If you start to sell things that are more and you're listing things for like 50 or 60 bucks or even 100 that's totally fine. And I'm going to play around with that more and maybe add a, a lecture on the end, of the end of the course if I see that it works. But in my experience, people are going to buy, uh, you know, that 10 to 30 product or 10 to 30 product profit margin product uh, window, uh, it, it, that's that's your best bet. So all, all sorts of things as I scroll through here, sell on Mercari. It's kind of like eBay. It's very, very random, but it's a search engine. And literally, I threw this up uh, this morning and it's already gotten eight views and potential, uh, you know, interest. So it really is, you know, up to you. I'd say start listing things regardless of what you have list whatever you have because it you know you never know what's going to sell on this i've sold all sorts of random things i've sold toothbrush replacement heads i sold a barbell squat uh uh i guess pad i sold uh what is this and i don't even know what this is i just listed it because it was an arbitrage product and it looks like i made a deal on this for seven bucks so i barely made anything but i still sold it and ranked my account um a, a outdoor picnic blanket sheet so that there's that I sold eyelash uh, enhancing, uh, whatever that is, serum, knee sleeves, um, an LED, you know, I guess for camping headlight, more of those, more of the, the Oral-Bs, a jump rope, a scratch-off map, uh, elbow sleeves, elbow brace. So you get the picture. You can sell pretty much anything, and there are some of these, these uh, I sold Yu-Gi-Oh cards clearly just laying around my house that I don't use anymore, and I sold a wholesale liquidation palette. Um, too. So you, you can you can get the picture. You can pretty much sell anything on here. There, I've seen a lot of different interest in a lot of different things. Um, I would just you know urge you to start listing things and see what gets interest. Uh, and you know you can pretty much make an extra buck here or there on Mercari. Now in my experience, like I said, I've made about a hundred bucks. I think maybe a little bit more. Um, but I'm gonna start ramping up and seeing exactly what I can sell on here. Uh, also, in my experience, whereas you know sometimes you get scammed on on eBay, or sometimes there's annoying uh, or annoyed buyers on Amazon, so you're gonna have to get like bad feedback ratings and bad uh, reviews on your account, or bad you know uh, you have, you have bad experience with customers. I've you know I've only had 20 transactions, but every single transaction on here has been great. Everybody's you know in a great mood. It's kind of like Poshmark. It's like the people are much more merry for lack of a better word they're they're easier to engage with and they're not looking to scam you none of that's hit the mercari platform yet in my opinion uh, and it's a great place to kind of you know engage with buyers if you're looking to get your products out there and you don't feel like dealing with the hassle of an ebay or an amazon and you know potentially getting scammed then hop over to mercari and start selling there so that's my experience like i said um followers don't really matter the reviews obviously play a big part because it's going to give you that social proof but they're easy to come by because they're required on mercari um but you know, if you're looking for an extra couple hundred bucks, start listing some random stuff. Come back and obviously, you know, watch this this course through its entirety. But come back and, and I'll start showing you, uh, you know, where you can get free products and very very cheap products that you can flip for a profit on this app and this website. All right, guys. So I briefly want to talk about the importance of free shipping when you're listing. Now, this goes, you know, across platforms. Obviously, it can benefit you a lot on eBay. It can obviously benefit you a lot, and does benefit you a lot on Amazon with the Amazon Prime tag. Uh, and it really helps increase. And this is something I touched on in the previous lectures. Helps increase your sales because people obviously are more inclined to gravitate towards free shipping if they feel like they're getting a deal. Uh, so you know, you can do one of two things. You can either offer the free shipping, and I'm going to go into. Uh, uh, one of my listings here to show you in a second if we go back to that hydro flask right uh, you can either offer free shipping uh, you know and eat the cost of it so usually it's like three to four bucks if I scroll all the way down I believe it's 425 here uh, or you can simply mark your price up so it would be the same thing if I offered free
free shipping with, you know, basically thir at 13 right? I'd still make the same amount uh, as if I were to sell this at $9 and then charge shipping. Makes sense? So people are going to be more inclined to buy the $13 free shipping than the $9 one with shipping uh, just because that's human psychology. They want to feel like they're getting a deal. They want to feel like there's, you know, an added benefit to buying from you and buying from your listing. And Mercari, this isn't just what I said or what I say, I didn't mean to X out of that, uh, but Mercari says this, uh, says this as well, eBay says this as well, and so does Amazon. It increases sales, uh, obviously it depends on, on from platform to platform, I think eBay says it, it increases it 11%, or it might be 21%, I forget. Amazon says if you ship into FBA, it increases your sales velocity up to 20%, uh, and obviously Mercari, I forget the exact quote, it might have been 10% they said on Mercari, um, but it does increase your sales, it will increase your, obviously, you know, your, your items flipping and, and the amount of people that actually buy them, thus increasing your profit and your overall revenue from you know Mercari and the platform. So I highly suggest that when you're listing items, you see here at the top, um, right under uh, offers offer buyers free shipping question mark. You can obviously click no, um, and then you don't get charged for that shipping. Now I'm all of a sudden making eight dollars ten cents. But if you offer free shipping, um, you know, and then simply mark it up a couple bucks to negate that, and you'll see here it obviously depends from you know, what, what your shipping is going to cost you. So, you know, make sure that you're still profitable and it makes sense for you. I'm not saying go into debt or anything like that, or, you know, break even on a product to flip it on Mercari, obviously. But I'm just saying, if you do have a lighter item and you can afford to offer the 425, uh, free shipping, don't ever go with UPS too, or FedEx in my opinion. Um, and this obviously is going to depend. Uh, I'm not sure if Mercari is actually global to be perfectly honest. I know Poshmark is not, but obviously eBay and Amazon are. Uh, but if you're in the U.S. and, uh, you know, you can get cheap shipping through the U.S. post office, like you'll see here, um, I highly suggest that you do it. Uh, now, you could obviously also just say ship on your own and ship it media mail, um, which is a great way to, you know, if you if you have a cheap item that's like four or five bucks, you can ship it media mail and still make money off of it. Because typically speaking, media mail is only going to be two to four dollars uh, most of the time. It obviously depends on what you're shipping um, and a lot of different factors. But if you have the opportunity and you want to increase sales and you know obviously flip more products, thus making more money, offer free shipping and simply mark your products up. It's the best way to make more sales and make more profit. It will make a difference on your bottom line. All right, guys, now I wanna talk about really briefly where you can find cheap or free items to resale and flip, re resale, to resell back on Mercari that you can flip. Um, now, there are a bunch of different places. Now, first and foremost, before we jump into the actual websites that I have listed on the screen right now, you can simply look around your house. Now, I, and I'm gonna quote Gary Vee here, who I you know, obviously look up to and respect. He says, the easiest way to make an extra thousand dollars this month is to simply resell stuff around your house that you have that you don't need anymore. There's stuff in your basement. There might be stuff in your garage. There's stuff in your attic. There's stuff laying around your house all the time. I'm not saying go out and you know flip something that you need or sell something or list something on one of these sites like Mercari that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, but we all are, you know, blessed to be in a position where we have other things that we've accumulated throughout the years around the house uh, that we don't need anymore. List some of those things. I guarantee you, you can make some side money and some easy money if you're listing some of those things on Mercari. That's first and foremost, list stuff on your house. Where can you find cheap or free items online or local or close to you like that? Uh, there's a couple, and I actually forgot to put one up here, Goodwill. So you can obviously go to Goodwill and look for really cheap items there, um, you know, or you can go to Goodwill.com. That's another great one. But jumping into the ones that I have listed up on, the, on here, you know, for example, websites, AliExpress is a great place where you can get cheap items and actually where I'm going to probably show you how to drop ship from, even though you can drop ship from other places. This is just an easy one because it has product pictures, it has product listings that you can obviously pull information from to set up your listing you can look for sale prices and clearance prices so that would be what I would suggest to do you would sign in and then you might go through and maybe look in you know toys kids and, and baby if we can click it or kids and baby and we're going to look for let's go to children's shoes and typically speaking you can sort it uh, from price low to high and you can also sort it sometimes through clearance and sales so if we sort it price low to high, you can see, let's try to find a good one right here uh, with someone running a sale. So this is a perfect example. Look, 13 hours left of this sale at $1 and one, or 114. So basically what you could do is you could buy a couple of these shoes very, very cheaply for you know 21 cents shipping 
Uh, now, it does take, you know, 20 to 39 days to get in. So if you buy 10 of these or 20 of these, then obviously you can probably flip these back on Mercari. Uh, you know, I would say test like maybe five of them first. But, you know, you can flip them back on Mercari for like a 10 to $15 profit margin because you're only buying them for 120 I might buy, you know, five of these. I might buy five of something else. And what I would do, just like we talked about before, is I would search the Mercari marketplace and figure out, okay, is there are there other baby shoes on the marketplace? There are not. Uh, so maybe it's a good opportunity for me to do it because somebody somewhere is looking for baby shoes on Mercari. If there are, okay, then what's the competition like? How many other baby shoes are, are listed on Mercari? What are they selling for? Okay, they're selling for $8. I know that, you know, I can buy these for $120. So that leaves me about a, a rough profit margin of 6 bucks. Is it worth my time? And that's a judgment call for you to make. If there's five other people listing baby shoes all at 20 bucks, uh, and I can buy these for 120, well, I'm gonna buy them because I can clearly list them for 15 bucks and make a markup of like 1350 if I'm buying them for you know 120 or 150 or whatever it comes to be. So that's just my thought process behind this. Search around AliExpress. You know, you can find a lot of really cheap and you know, not it's not always the highest quality, but on Mercari, like I said, as long as you're shipping and giving the the item and the listing that you're listing. That makes any sense the the person is genuine generally happy in my experience so if you list this shoe and you ship out a shoe that looks like this and is made like this nobody's gonna have an issue with it um, as long as you're shipping out what you're listing um, but this this is a great way to do it I highly 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 recommend that you invest in some Aliexpress products you don't have to drop a thousand dollars on products on Aliexpress to find out if it's for you you know take 20 to 30 bucks and invest in some products test it out now it does take a little bit to ship to you but it's an investment into the future you know you might make you might invest 50 bucks to make 500 the next month when they finally get delivered to you so something to keep in mind let's move on now i want to give you two coupon sites and what coupon sites are basically places where amazon uh sellers list their amazon items uh for coupons so that they can increase the sales velocity of their items and also potentially get reviews so that's all you really need to know with the coupon sites these are two coupon sites that i go over in how to get free products for life course and my retail arbitrage pro course obviously both of those come from different angles but you don't need to know any of that all you really need to know is you can get high value high retail price items very very cheap uh on both vipon and snagshot so let's just kind of you know roll through and i'll show you exactly what i mean so let's go to instant deals we'll sort uh price low to high and we'll see what is available to snag so here's a good example right here you can find iphone cases for the iphone 8 or the iphone 7 for a buck and you can buy them on amazon for a buck they usually retail at eight dollars so you could probably flip this back on mercari for like seven eight bucks maybe ten bucks depending on the marketplace like i said always do always do your product research first here's another great example um that that looked like it was a good example but maybe it's not let's find a better one so this is a good one. You have an Xbox One controller charger cable. Usually retails at 15 bucks, roughly. You can flip it back on Mercari probably for like 10 to 15 bucks. You can buy it for 150. And this is, it depends on the time of day. It's obviously 117 that I'm doing this right now. Um, if the, the earlier you hop on the coupon site, so if you hop on Snagshot or Vipon, earlier in the day um you know if you hop on at eight or nine you know in the morning you're gonna find a lot more better deals um because usually typically speaking they're claimed throughout the the day and you know they, they reset at midnight so the closer you go to midnight the better deals you're gonna find and if you log on early enough and you get lucky enough you can find a couple of free deals here and there and claim some products for free and then obviously flip them back on Amazon. So I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can search through this yourself, but there are great products on here for a great margin and you can find them and flip them back on Mercari and buy them from, Am from, uh, from Amazon. And if you have Amazon Prime, they should be at your house within two days max. Moving on to Snagshot really fast. And let's go price lowest first. Here's a great example right here. So you can buy this stretch mark cream um, for $2. Uh, and you can, it usually retails, and now this one does, is probably with shipping, so that's probably a bad example. Let's avoid that one. Here's a good example. This is Amazon Prime. You can buy it for 99 cents. Soap, um, it looks like it's just, just soap. Uh, and it retails for $8.99. So you can probably flip this back on Mercari for nine, 10 bucks, something like that. It's a brand new product and you're buying it for 99 cents. A good profit margin there. There's a couple more all throughout here. Let's find another good example. This is another good example. I used this in my retail arbitrage course the other day. 
You can buy this for 150. It usually retails for 15 bucks. So you know that if it's retailing on Amazon for 50 bucks, obviously do your product research. It's probably going to retail on Mercari for something similar. You can list it a little bit lower, list it a little bit higher. Obviously this is going to, you know, the more you do it, the better experience you're gonna get. And the more you're gonna be able to identify deals like this that are good, but you can get this for 150, buy a couple of them, buy one, whatever you wanna do. Um, and sometimes you are limited with a coupon, so play around with it. Uh, but you can flip this back on Mercari for a $10 profit margin. This is a super, super easy way to get cheap products uh, right to your door with Amazon Prime. With those two coupon sites, I highly recommend that you don't just do AliExpress, but that you also look on those coupon sites to source free and cheap products. Moving on. Here we are on Craigslist free ads, guys. And what Craigslist free ads are, you know, people that have random stuff that they're just trying to get rid of list something on on Craigslist free. And obviously it's gonna differ from where you're located in the United States or, you know, wherever you are. Um, but if you go on Craigslist free, you can find some great, great stuff that you can relist back on Mercari for a profit and you're gonna get it for free. All these people wanna do is just simply get rid of it. So, you know, obviously you can't flip a couch on Mercari and this is completely irrelevant to this course, but if you, you know, great place to, you know, randomly make money because I don't have a course on it. If you hop on Craigslist free ads, guys, and you go grab all these free cash couches that people list, you can pick them up and relist them back on Facebook Marketplace. Yes, Facebook Marketplace for a markup. Uh, you can list this for like a hundred bucks, list for, list for a hundred bucks. And you can go pick these two couches up because they just wanna get rid of them. And if you have a truck or something, you can hold on to them in your garage or you know wherever you have you know storage space and flip them back on, on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks or a hundred bucks or 200 bucks and make great money. Not related to this course, but just a little caveat tip because I'm all about giving you guys value. But if I wanted to flip something, maybe I'd flip this sewing machine if it didn't come with the uh, the actual table. I'm not sure. I'd have to ask. But that's something you probably flip back on Mercari for like 20, 30 bucks easily. Let's see if we can find some other great examples. Baby stuff. And if any of that's new, you can pick it up for free. Um, obviously, we are in Craigslist free ads. Uh, you can pick it up for free and, you know, flip it back on Mercari. That's free cash if somebody buys it. Um there's a desk, so basically the same thing. You can basically go grab this desk, take it off the person's hands. You couldn't flip it on Mercari, but maybe Facebook Marketplace, obviously. Um, here we go, some uh, nutcrackers that you can pick up for free. So if you can pick up the, the nutcrackers for free and list them, obviously, pre-Christmas, it's not gonna benefit you after Christmas, but right here it's 1220. I guarantee you someone would buy all these nutcrackers. Uh, oh, this does say 45 bucks, though. I don't know why we're, let's, uh... That's weird. I did sort free. I don't know why it's listed at 40, uh, 45 bucks. Let's see if we can find a better one. Free food. That's weird. I wouldn't take that, but you get the picture. Here we go. Vintage N Nintendo games lot price as marked. Feel free to haggle. I don't see any price there. That's probably not it. But I don't want to waste your time. Obviously, it's going to depend on where you are. Um, but you can find a lot of great free items on on. Um, on Craigslist, whether you're gonna flip them back on, you know, Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, you can find great, great free items to flip for, you know, a profit that you're getting for free if you're willing to put the legwork in. Um, that obviously makes the difference. So, check out Craigslist free, great, great place. Now, moving on to Let Go and Offer Up, which are apps that I sell on. They're local, so they're not like internet based. Although Offer Up. Uh, yeah, OfferUp does actually have a shipping uh, type of thing, so you can ship it, you know, countrywide or nationwide. Um, Leco does not; it's just local. Uh, but you can find there's just like I said, there there's free stuff on um, Craigslist. There's also ways to sort uh, for free on these platforms as well, so you can check them. Um, and obviously, it's going to depend on what's you know what's available locally to you. So it depends on your location. But you can sort through for free on both of these, and sometimes find great stuff that is free where you can literally just go pick it up and then relist it back on a site like Mercari. So these are easy ways that if you're willing to put the work in, if maybe you're you know a little bit older or something and you just have some free time, you're making you're you're looking to you know pocket some an extra thousand dollars a month. This is a great way to do it with zero risk because you're getting the items for free. Do your homework, go pick up some items on Craigslist, go pick up some items on Letgo, go pick up some items on OfferUp, relist them back on Mercari and make the markup and profit. Super easy and very, very low risk. Um, on top of that, if you're you know, 16, 17, 18, and you're just getting out of high school or something like that, I get this question a lot too from a lot of my students. You know, I'm 15 year old for in, 
you know, Roanoke, Virginia. This is so random. I just made that up. But like, that, those are the types of questions I get on a day to day basis. You know, I'm 15 years old. Um, I'm in high school and I don't have any money. What's the best thing that I can do to make money? Go pick up free items. You know, obviously there are other ways to make money, but this is a great way too. go pick up free items, list them back on a site like Mercari. It's very, very low risk and it's free money. All right. So I wanted to add some stuff to the course on how you can get more free products. I'm going to give you three really, 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 really great ways that you can get free products to your door. Okay. So here's how you do it. Here's the first one. First one is rebate key. And what rebate key is, is it's a cash back website. Now a cash back website is basically a website that uses Amazon products where you get money back for purchasing them. So what do I mean by that? What, how do you win? How does the Amazon seller win on these websites? And how does the website actually win, right? How does this work? How are you getting free products? So you'll see here, here's an example of one right here. Now let me, let's pull up a better example. All right, so this inflatable neck pillow, right? So you you spend, how this works is you buy this on Amazon, right? And you're spending $10.97 to get it. Then you're gonna get a rebate or cash back to your PayPal or a check, depending on how you set it up on rebate key. It's very, very easy to set up. And then you're gonna get that, not, that $10.97 back in a check or to your PayPal in a period of time. So with rebate key, it's 30 days later, but if you can afford to wait the 30 days, then you're gonna get the 1097 back. So then you have a free product because you paid 97, but then you got it back. Then you have a free product that's very, very, very easy to sell that comes with a great listing that comes with product pictures and everything. And you can basically take it from the Amazon listing and then you can resell it or you can keep it or you can do whatever you want for it uh, for 100% margin so this is a great place to get free products rebate key check it out it's a gold mine you'll see there's so many free products here this sells for $19.99 with a rebate you're going to pay zero so you're paying $19.99 and then you're going to get your rebate 30 days later of $19.99 and then you have a free product same thing with this one $19.97 and then you have a free product same thing with this one $16.99 and then you have a free product now if you scroll down you'll see some with you know no re or, or where you actually end up paying so this one Right here, you might be spending $29.95, but then you're gonna get a rebate back of like, what is that, like 23 bucks or whatever it is, and then you end up paying $5.99. So maybe you wanna steer clear of these, but this one's free, this one's free. As you see, you're paying zero after the rebate. This one is not free, this one's free, and you get the picture. So check out Rebate Key. It's a phenomenal place to sign up and get free products. Now, another great place that you can get it, so number two, is Facebook review groups. So there are a number of Facebook, Amazon review groups where you can go ahead and get free products. We've talked about this and it's a great way to get products, right? Now, one of the ways that you can utilize these is basically PayPal refunds. So you'll see here that sometime, like for example, wireless mic for live transmission, PayPal refund after review, PP me if interested. So how can you get free products? And more importantly, how can you make money in, like after the fact with your free products? And you'll see 17,000 members, people are constantly posting here, uh, you know, different products that they want reviews for that you can get for free if you're willing to review them. So not only can you get a PayPal refund after your review, which then you can get that product and then, you know, resell it if you want to or whatever your your, your intention is, um, you know, so you can get it for free because you're going to get the product just like the cashback websites. Then you're going to get a PayPal refund and you're going to set all this up through the, through the actual group and through your messages and you're going to message that seller. See, it says PayPal uh, refund after review, PPM me if interested. So personal message them if, they're, if you're interested. So that's what you want to do, right? And then what happens is, not only are you getting a free product, but then in a lot of times you'll see that you get a free product to potentially resell, but you also get a, a commission for the review. So let me find an example of that. Um, a lot of them are like uh, with a commission after the review. So we do full refund after review. This is not one of them, but this is a free product. Um, great deal. That's 50% off. Full refund plus PayPal fees. Um, let's see if we can find one with a, with like a limited promotion, limited promotion, full refund after review. Here's another example with 19,000 people. I don't want to sit here and waste your time and kind of scan through these, but a lot of them will say, like you'll see here for, it says like, like US only, no review, full refund and, and cover for the PayPal fee. If you're interested, PM them, right? So then you're gonna get a free product. Some of them will say right here in the description, 
um, commission for a review. So if they're not, they're, they're, they just want the sale and then you get a commission for a review. So why are the sellers doing this on Amazon and why are the sellers doing this on rebate key, right? What do they get out of it? Why are they giving you a free product? Well, they get the sale, which helps them rank their products higher on Amazon so that their product can get more organic sales in the future, right? That's their plan. And then obviously some of them want reviews as well. So your plan, you can utilize that by using the, the Facebook groups like here. And there's a number of Amazon review Facebook groups. You can just search through them in, on Facebook and you can find a bunch of them and join a bunch of them. I'm in like 10 of them, but there are probably 50 to 100, if not more. And same thing with rebate key, right? So you can use those places to get free products because then everybody wins, right? The Facebook, group, uh, the person in the Facebook group obviously wins because they're getting a review potentially and they're getting a sale on their product, which helps them rank more. You win because you're getting a free product with rebate key. Everybody wins as well, right? Because rebate key wins because they're getting a percentage from the seller because the seller has to put their product on there and it costs them. The seller gets gets a win because they're potentially getting a review and they're also getting a free or, or a sale for their product, which helps them rank more, right? And you win because you're getting a free product. So these are two great places where you can utilize to your advantage to get free products and you know you should basically hop on them. Now, another place that you can do this is by using promo websites. So what are promo websites? Well, promo websites are places that businesses go to buy merch for their company or promotions for their company if they're going to like a trade show or whatever and they wanna hand out like pens or they wanna hand out t-shirts or they wanna manufacture bags for their for their their customers or something like that with their logo on it, right? So that's what a promo website is. So how can you then utilize these promo websites to get free products, right? So to get to do that is you want to go to a promo website and I gave you, I'm going to actually attach this to this lecture. So I'm going to attach this, this, uh, word document to this lecture. It will be on the right. You can download it and then go through all these, or you can simply pause what, like literally, uh, search all these and you can find all these like this, but keep in mind that there are a lot more that you can Google. I'm just giving you 15 cause I don't want to make this like 50 to hundred long. Okay. And you can find a lot of free products doing this. So. To give you an example, we'll go to one of the we'll go to the first one. So fourimprint.com, right? How do you get uh, free products from fourimprint.com? Well, what you do is you want to find something that maybe you're interested in, either getting for free or reselling. So what do you want for free? Okay, let's say you want you know you want a new polo for free. So we're gonna go into polos. We'll go like um, well, let's say you wanted a, a hoodie or a t-shirt, okay? And you wanted maybe this one right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click into this and you're gonna request a free sample. And then that's gonna come, I'm not gonna hit it because it's gonna show me my, my information because clearly I have an account right here and I do this a lot, right, to get free products. But so you can do this and then request a free sample and then it's gonna come to your door as a free sample and then you can basically do whatever you want with it. You can keep it if you like it, you can resell it, whatever you wanna do, okay? Now some of these are gonna have a button if you're on the product page. Some of them are gonna have a button to request a free sample and that's that easy. And some of them you're gonna have to call and say that you want a free sample. If you do have to call, you have to keep in mind that they're not just in the business to give random people free samples. So if you wanna get free products and you do have to call the actual website because you don't see a button there, what you wanna say is you wanna act like you're gonna manufacture a bunch of these and you're testing it out, okay? So keep that in mind. You're not calling and saying, hey, I just wanted this as a free product, thank you, I'm, I'm interested. No, you're gonna call up and you're gonna be like, hey, you know, I, I saw your, your Gildan uh, hooded sweatshirt, um, you know, I'm thinking about manufacturing 100 of them myself, but I kind of wanted to test to see if it was a good product, uh, I'd like a free sample. And then they're gonna send you a free sample to your door and that's how you get free products using promo websites. Now, there are hundreds of these promo websites. That is just an example of one of them. Utilize them to your advantage to get free products. It's a very, very, very easy way that's overlooked to get free products. So I hope you like this lecture. That's three more ways that you can make more money or get free products, whatever your goal is, and I hope that it really, really helps you. All right, so I, I wanna give you some other websites where you can find cheap and free, yes, free products, which you can then resell back on Mercari for a profit margin. So I'm gonna run through them quickly. You can check them out. I'll give you a little bit of backstory on what they are and how you can use them. And then it's up to you to go check them out and source from them, but they're very, very easy to source from. So JumpSend is a great one. It's a play, it's basically a coupon site. A lot of these first ones will be coupon sites for Amazon products. So you can get cheaper Amazon products with a coupon, right? So if it retails for like 20 bucks on Amazon, you get it for a coupon code for like a dollar or two bucks, right? Then obviously you can make that 18 potential profit margin. If you buy it on Amazon for $2, 
dollars, you list it on Mercari for 20 bucks, which is retail value, and then someone ends up eventually buying it, and maybe you net like 10 to 15 bucks, right? So that's how the business model works. These are some sites where you can get free and very, very cheap products. So jump send right here. If we sort this all the way up to like an 88% uh, percent profit margin, we'll see what pops up. So this one right here looks like if we open this up to give you an example, didn't mean to do that. Let's just view it on Amazon. You can get it with the coupon code at 220 and it retails on Amazon for $21.99, right? So the great part about buying from coupon sites or the cashback sites we'll, like we'll talk about here in a second, the great part about buying from these is that you can you can basically, you don't need to take your own product pictures or write out your own description or, or listing, right? Because you can literally take these pictures right here upload them uh, to Mercari, Mercari, and that's something that we'll talk about, and then take the product listing and boom, you can literally just repost this once you get it back on a Mercari, super, super simple. So Jump Send's a great place, you can check that one out. Another great one is Elite Deal Club. So to give you an example, um, Elite Deal Club, same thing, it's a coupon website where you can basically find cheaper products with coupon codes, so Amazon products, a lot of these. So this one right here, 520, usually retails at, at like, 15 bucks, not the best profit margin, but you can kind of sort through these on different days and find them. It's another great place to use uh, to find coupon products where you can buy cheap products, which you can then resell back on Mercari for a profit, okay? Another one of my favorites is Vipon. So if you log into Vipon, you go over to deals and then you sort through the deals right here. So we'll go um, sorting by price low to high. Boom, you can get these for two cents. You can obviously make a margin on that. You can get this for 70 cents, obviously make a margin on that. 80 cents for this, potentially, even though it says it only retails. It, it's, it really does, this is being drop shipped, so it's another business I understand, but like, so it's like seven bucks, so eight, nine bucks roughly is what it sells at, but you could probably flip that back on Mercari for like 10 to 15 bucks. It's like a blouse, right? So check this out. It's another great site where you can find free and cheap product, not free, but you know, practically free for like a cent here, um, and cheap products, which you can then resell back on Mercari. Same thing with Snagshot, same thing here. So you can sort through price lowest to high. Um, you can also sort through like biggest savings percentage or biggest savings by dollar amount. Another great site. Another great site is Uber Zon Club. So to give you an example, there's you know plenty of these right here. This looks like it's a weighted blanket right here, queen size blanket. Uh, usually retails at 130 bucks. If you buy it, you know, on a discount code right here for 65 bucks, you can then potentially resell it back on Mercari and make that profit margin. Now, I probably wouldn't do that because it's a little bit higher risk on Mercari, but you know, this is a good example right here. 424, sell this back potentially on Mercari for like 20 bucks. Eventually, someone buys it, you make a 10 dollar profit margin. So, there's a lot of great sites here. Viralix is another one that you can look into. You can get free uh, items on Viralix and also discounted coupon codes on this one as well. Giveaway service is another one where you can get free uh, coupon codes or also discount coupon codes. Sign up and check it out. Works the same as all the other ones. Now we're gonna get into some cashback websites. All right, so Testzon is a cashback website that you can utilize. So is Rebate Key and so is Cashback Base. So I'll show you briefly how all these work, um, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Basically what a cashback website is, is unlike the coupon codes, right? Where you're basically seeing the product and then you're getting a coupon. Let's, let's say it retails on Amazon for 20 bucks, right? You're getting a coupon code to buy it on Amazon for like two or three dollars, right? Well, with re with uh, rebate sites like these and cashback websites, you're actually paying the entire 20 bucks, right? So it retails on Amazon for 20 bucks. You're gonna buy it for 20 bucks and then they're gonna send you a PayPal refund of $20. Now, why do they do that? Why do sellers do either one of these, right? Because it helps both parties, right? You get a free product, which you can then resell if you want to, hence this entire you know lecture right now. And they get the sale at full price on Amazon and they also potentially get a review. So it helps them rank their product on Amazon. That's why they're basically inspiring people to purchase and saying, hey, I'll cover your cost of purchase. I just want the sale and the review on Amazon, okay? So it's a win-win for both parties. And you can see I order stuff here. Um, I have some tests to order right here. I have some tests waiting. And I have multiple accounts on all of these because obviously I'm not Tom Jones. I'm not Tom Jones and I am not uh, Tom Jones, which is what I'm on, I am on here. Obviously, I have multiple accounts, and you can set up multiple accounts on all of these different websites if you want to as well. So, to give you an example, if we just search through products on tests on, there are a number of other products. Look, your price right here for these socks, $0. You're going to pay $10.99, right? And then you're going to get a PayPal refund of $10.99 back, so they end up being free. Then you can resell them back on Mercari for potentially a $10 profit margin. And you can scale this up and do this so, so much. Look, $30 potential profit margin, it's yours for $0 after a PayPal refund. 
and the PayPal refund might take, depending on the website. So um, with Rebate Key, it takes 30 days, but there's great products here. With Tests on, it can take anywhere from about a day or two to a week. Uh, with cashback base, same thing, like a day or two to a week. So they all are great. So if you you know if you you don't have a lot of money to front up up front, right? Rebate key is very 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very verified and trustworthy. So you don't have to worry about getting your refunds. They literally keep track of all of that in your dashboard, and then they make sure that you get paid out, right? They, it's very reputable. But you do have to wait 30 days to get your money back. Well, with tests on and cashback base, they're also very reputable, but you don't have to wait 30 days. It's usually you know from a sell. Right, so Rebate Key does it where they collect the money and hold it in limbo for 30 days from the seller. So Rebate Key is the one that pays you. So you're only really dealing with the website. With these two, you're dealing with the specific sellers. So there's benefits to both of them. Very, very reputable, but you have to wait 30 days for it to get all your money back. Um, right here, for example. These are, you know, you're dealing with the individual sellers and they obviously always PayPal refund you. I've never had an issue with either website, but you are dealing with the seller. So sometimes it can be like a day that they PayPal refund you. Sometimes it can be like a week that they PayPal refund you. You have to converse with them. And obviously if anything comes up, you can message the websites and they'll make sure that you get your refund. Okay. Or you can simply return the item on Amazon as inaccurate website description for a full refund. So check these websites out. Great places where you can source free products. So the coupon websites are great. These are also great to find cheap or, or free products. So boom, right here, uh, male energy pill, $29 value, yours free. Uh, dog calming treats, $29 value, yours free. Uh, dog supplement treats, $25, $26 value, yours free. Nutrition weight loss pills, $22, $22 value, yours free. You get the picture on rebate key, you get the picture on tests on, and on cashback base, same thing, right? So you come over to like freebies or hot deals, same exact thing. It's a PayPal refund, um, but if you go to if you go to free, freebies, there's a bunch of freebies here. Look, you're paying $16.99, you're getting $16 cash back, $16.99 cash back, yours free. Same thing with this, same thing with this, etc., etc. So these are great websites, and you can literally scale this into a full-time business and make good money. All you need to do is hop on this and take some action. All right, guys. So I want to run through, you know, some example listings with you really fast. And we're going to list some example products, just, you know, running through, you know, some things to keep in mind and giving you obviously the breakdown of how I would approach it. I'm going to do two of the main ones. Now, like I said, if you're picking up from, you know, Al, not AliExpress, if you're picking up from LetGo or OfferUp or, you know, a site like Craigslist, then you're going to have to take your own product pictures or you can steal the product pictures from that actual listing, um, whether you're using an iPhone, which is, you know, there's a great camera on an iPhone nowadays, or you, you have a professional camera or whatever, um, you're going to have to put typically take your own pictures, um, you know, and use your own lighting. Uh, and if you guys want any breakdowns of, you know, what lighting or, or cameras or anything like that, I suggest just let me know. Um, but if you're buying from, you know, and I'm, sh I'm assuming the majority of you are going to be doing this, buying from either AliExpress or drop shipping from AliExpress, like I'm going to show you in the next lecture. Um, or if you're buying from Amazon, like on the coupon sites, then typically speaking, you can basically just copy the listings to a certain degree. Now, let me show you example on Amazon really fast. Let's say I'm just, we are going to list we had this in our possession right here, randomly, this hat. Well, what would I do? I would I would take all the pictures. So I would you know, save the picture one. So let's just save it randomly. Let's say hat one. And obviously I would take every single picture. So however many pictures there are, it looks like there's seven there. Make sure if they do have like a, a money back guarantee, you don't wanna copy that or you don't wanna take that picture because obviously you, know, you probably won't be doing that. Um, but it's just something to keep in mind. So if I were going to, that's the course. Where are we here? You said hat, right? Why am I not seeing it? Hmm. Oh, there it is, right there. All right, so hat, and then obviously I'd put all the rest of the pictures there. Now with Mercari, there, there is a limit to eight pictures, um, and you do have to actually have, and this is something to keep in mind, which is you know one of the drawbacks of the platform, like I'm gonna talk about in the next lecture, is you do, and this is something I touched on before, you do have to have a picture yourself. So you have to take a picture. You can't have all stock photos. So what a stock photo is, is all of these from the listing right here are stock photos. You can't use all stock photos. You have to have your own pictures and you'd have to take a physical picture. So I would say list, you know, seven, seven of the pictures from the, from the product listing, 
take your picture of you know the 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 new product in its in its wrapping or whatever it is and then list that as your eighth picture uh you can obviously take you know a lot of the keywords and like we talked about before mercari is a search engine so you want to take a lot of the keywords from the title and maybe put them into your mercari listing so maybe it's a music beanie with bluetooth headphones um, now, this is pretty easy one, obviously, but sometimes you're going to have to mix and match some words and take some out if it's not streamlined and kind of use your judgment there. Um, but this might might work well, and it works perfectly, of course, because I'm showing you. Uh, but if it wasn't that streamlined, you know, maybe I'd take like compatible or maybe I'd take like Scully or Beanie or something like that or double layer. I wouldn't in this example, but you'll see the more and more you do this, if you're taking from coupon sites, that a lot of times on Amazon, the, the people and the, the sellers will just stuff keywords into the title and it doesn't read fluidly. Um, you want keywords to read fluidly, obviously, and help you with search. So you need to make sure that they do both. But this is obviously music beanie with Bluetooth headphones. Sounds pretty good in my opinion. The great part about doing it on Amazon is you can simply copy the listing as well and take all the keywords. So, you know, it make sure to read it really fast and make sure that they're not offering any like, you know, manufacturer warranty or, you know, money back guarantee. Some of them actually do. Um, but if they don't, then just simply copy and paste and boom, you're done. Now there is a thousand uh, character limit on Mercari. So that sometimes will go over and you need to de like delete a bullet or so. Um, but that's basically your next step. And it's super, super easy. Now, the next thing to keep in mind is the hashtags. You want to generate three relevant hashtags. I don't know my computer's freaking out. Uh, three relevant hashtags. So maybe I'd use beanie here or hats or winter or something like that. Uh, you know, just you want to think of the most relevant hashtags so that you, you it optimizes your your item and your product uh, a little bit more in the Mercari search, uh, and that's how it can index. Now you're going to search for category, and obviously this is not a Bluetooth headphone. Um, I would say maybe it's a hat. Uh, it is probably a hat, so categorize it to the best of your ability. I'm not going to go. I might go. You know, hats there, um, but you know, it's it's a music hat. It's not headphones. And then if there's a brand, enter the brand, pretty self-explanatory, uh, and the condition. Now, you don't have to have all new items, but I usually typically list new items because they sell for a higher price. Um, so I'm going to say new. I'd list my shipping uh, zip code. And then I would obviously, this is what I do. You don't have to do it, but we also talked about the importance of free shipping in the past. Offer your shipping. So you can say no and then elect to ship it out yourself. Or you can say yes and either elect to ship it out yourself. Uh, or you can buy Mercari shipping, which I believe is usually four bucks or like four ten or something like that. And then you set your price and it will literally show you the fee, what what Mercari is deducting, and how much you earn. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Now let's run through an example on AliExpress, since like I said, these are the two main ones that you're gonna be using. Um, but if you're listing on something else, just use your judgment. It's pretty, pretty simple. So let's randomly say that we're listing this backpack, which is kind of funny looking. It's like a dog backpack. So what I would do on Mercari and it's in, or, uh, on AliExpress, and it's important to keep this in mind, is you don't want... Uh, the you don't want the brand name in the picture so do your best to take that brand name out if i were taking this picture and another thing on on uh, aliexpress is you can't actually uh save the picture like you can sometimes on amazon so you might need like a snip tool um i'm not sure what the one is on mac but on pc it's just called snip tool it's pretty self-explanatory and then you can just take a, a screenshot of the image wherever you want now this does have the brand name in there um, so you're gonna want to obviously avoid that if possible uh, but another important thing to keep in mind is if it's a white thing and or a white background or even a black background you can simply just save it so let me show you really fast we'll save it as dog bag and then I would take this into canva little trick little caveat for you guys here of course I'm not signed in why wouldn't I be all right, I'm not going to sign in because I don't want to show you my password. But what I would basically do is I would take this into Canva. It's pretty self-explanatory. And one of the things on the side of Canva, if you haven't used Canva before, it's a free uh, website where you can basically edit pictures. It's very, very easy to use. Very, very self-explanatory. And there's a thing on the side when you start, when you sign into Canva and you upload this picture. So you want to bring this picture into the Canva edit space. You can do that super easy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just drop a question. I'd love to answer it for you. Uh, and then what you're basically going to do is you're going to click the elements in the sidebar, which I think is like three down. And there's a thing called square there. It's just you just literally bring in a square, uh, you know, like literally a square into the picture. And you can make a white square and just put the white square over the uh, the brand name. And then you can re-download that and upload it without the brand name. I highly suggest that you do that so it doesn't look like it's you know being pulled off a manufacturer website. 
Um, but if you don't want to, you know, I'm sure you could still sell it. Let's find that and upload the the uh, dog bag. Where is it? Oh, I, sn I snipped in his pictures. Uh, there it is, dog bag. All right, then let's take and figure out what a good title for this would be. So we need to make sure that, you know, it reads streamlined, but also has good keyword stuff into it. So we might say, uh, and I'm not going to say women because I don't want to classify it as just a women's backpack in case a guy wanted to buy this. So maybe backpack, school bag. Um, we're going to say dog, backpack, slash school bag. Stuff and keywords in there, remember, but also want it to read streamlined. Um vintage vintage bag or vintage school space bag so you get both school and bag and you also get school bag something like that use your judgment um but you want to stuff as as main as many keywords as possible while it still reads streamlined and looks like a legitimate title then you can come down and this is an important thing whether you're listing on ebay or you know anywhere else uh or you're listing on uh mercari you don't want to list the uh the description straight off the bat uh, when you're listing from AliExpress. You don't want to take the specs and list that as the description. So you don't want to just take this and then post it in or paste it in to the Mercari search or the Mercari description, sorry. What you do want to do is you want to take all these keywords and kind of form a paragraph or two um, and really, really just just type it out. So maybe it's this, this solid bag uh, is perfect for a women's school bag in both winter and summer. Uh, it can be used as a backpack uh, for school, but also to carry clothes or something. You know what I mean? Like so and so and so. Uh, the line it's it's made out of polyester. It has a high quality zipper. Stuff like that. You just want to kind of stuff all the keywords possible into the description while still making it read streamlined, like it's a legitimate description. And you didn't just copy the specifics from the manufacturer webpage. Now, I used to drop ship on Shopify all the time, and I used to teach people to drop ship on Shopify. And the biggest mistake, there was a lot of mistakes, but the biggest mistake that I saw students making was simply copying the item specs like this and posting it and pasting it into their Shopify store. Now, when somebody hits their store and is potentially interested in a product and they come to the description and they see item specs, brand name, interior, gen it doesn't look good. It looks like you literally just copy and pasted that product and are selling it on your store for a markup. The same thing goes on Mercari or any other website. Uh, it basically just communicates to the customer that this is not your product and you're just listing it on your store. Uh, it was a major red flag that indicated Shopify store. And if you do this on Mercari, it's just going to indicate that you're, you're listing another item that you bought somewhere else. So don't do that. Make your own description. Um, just use the keywords. It's very, very simple. You can take five minutes and write out a paragraph or two, um, and it will make a huge difference in your sales. I promise you that. And then the same thing. So, you know, your hashtags, your brand, your category, uh, you don't have to list the brand if you don't want to, if it's, you know, doesn't, if it's not like a, if you don't, if, you, if it's not like a, a high end brand, like a Nike or an Adidas or anything like that, and you feel like listing the brand is not going to bring you more sales or more notoriety. I don't know why I was doing it this way. <laughs> notoriety, then don't list the brand. It's totally fine. And same thing, you know, obviously I recommend always free shipping, but you don't have to do that as well. We touched on that before. So that's two examples of listing products. Like I said, don't just list the specs. That's the most important thing on AliExpress. Make your own listing. Um, but, you know, also ensure that your title reads streamlined and well while stuffing as many keywords in both the title and the description as possible. All right, guys. Now, I want to take uh, a brief moment to add some information into this course. It's very, very important. And these things are really going to make a big difference for your, your Mercari, uh, you know, co closet in general, uh, if you just implement them. So I want to talk about three things in this bonus lecture that are really going to help you along. The first is the importance of promoting. So you'll see here, uh, since the last time I actually uploaded a video, um, you know, there's a lot going on here. Um, but I'm, I'm really accumulating a lot of reviews and fast. I've literally only been on the platform for I don't even know like two three months max um, and already just accumulating a ridiculous amount of reviews which is a snowball effect and it seems like more and more people are purchasing a lot of items that I slap up there so it's promising if you're just starting you can do it relatively quickly but like I said I want to talk about the importance of promoting items to prompt sales now I've been uploading a number of items recently um, a lot from you know liquidation pallets and a lot from online arbitrage products that I do with my online arbitrage pro course um, 
and 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 things that you know basically aren't selling well on Amazon. I'll pull them off and I'll flip them on Mercari if they're not able to be flipped on Poshmark or anything like that. And basically, what I'm trying to tell you is I prompt sales. I don't just list them up there. I prompt sales by promoting items. And there are two ways to promote items, and these are very very important for prompting sales. So let's just go through and look at some items. You'll see here that some of the items I just slapped up are getting, you know, this first one right here in the top left has 23 views and three likes. The second one uh, to the right of that has seven views and two likes. You'll you'll start to notice that you'll, you'll pick up views and you'll pick up likes on your items. So what does that actually mean? Well, the people that like, just like on any other, uh, you know, uh, e-commerce site, whether that's Amazon, eBay, or Poshmark, or anything like that, are people that you know are engaged and like that that uh, product, and you can basically pitch them to. Whether you're if you're on eBay, for example, you can you know that you can drop the price down 10%, and the, all the likers will get notified. Uh, on Amazon, it's a little bit different because you can't like an item, um, but on on Poshmark as well, there are ways to promote. But with Mercari, what you can do is you can actually hit this left button, the promote button. And what that will do is it will allow you to basically, uh, you know, promote that listing and that product out to the Mercari, Mercari, yeah, Mercari community. Sorry. Um, and so you'll see here the first option is promote to everyone, which is a public sale. And that's you reduce the price and they'll boost your listing to notify all the people who liked the item and that's a public sale so that will promote it to everybody not just the people that liked it but it will also promote it across the website to other people more likely to like that item thus increasing your visibility for a shortened period of time the catch is that you do have to drop the price and then it will obviously keep it there now i cannot promote any more items because as you you'll see here in a second if i click this it won't let me do it because I, it says you've reached your promotional limit 10 items per day so a little caveat you can only promote 10 items per day um i promote 10 items per day because it it prompts sales for me and it prompts a lot of sales um but you'll notice that yes you can promote things but you have to drop the price and that's a great way to do it so one of the key things that i want to suggest to you is keep your prices a little bit higher not ridiculously higher but a little bit higher so that as you accumulate views and as you accumulate uh likes you can drop your price down and it will make a world of difference because you're continually doing that uh, over time. So you can promote it to everybody, which like I said, is site-wide and the likers, or you can specifically promote to the people that have liked it. So on an item like like this, for example, three likes, you know, literally just slapped this up right now. It's 129.19 and then you can see it's already got 23 views and three likes. I could promote that to a liker because it's got a decent amount of likers, um, which I could hit the bottom option here, promote to likers, a private sale. And uh, as you can see, I've already offered, uh, you know, to my likers, every 24 hours you're allowed to do that um and like i said there's a limit to 10 per day uh and i offer them a price of nine bucks so i think i would take home like five or six after that not really sure um but that's a way that you can do it another great uh thing that you can do as we scroll through here is this might be a one that i'd like this women's sh open shoulder uh the left one because there's two likers on that two likers on the annie slot uh annie slip shock absorbing gloves uh, and you know, 10 likers right here on the Nike basketball shorts on the right. So that's just a way that you can prompt sales. And, and I wanted to talk about the importance of promoting because you shouldn't just, yes, with Mercari, um, it's a great, great marketplace. You can just slap stuff up and they will sell, but also use the promoting to your, to your, uh, you know, to your advantage because that's a great way that you can basically put your items in front of more customers and get them more visibility. So that's really, really going to help you out. One of the things I do want to talk about too is, is re-uploading listings if they don't sell or they're getting, they aren't getting views. And it's really that simple. This works on eBay. It works on Poshmark. It definitely works on Amazon if you're merchant filling. And guess what guys, it works on Mercari too. So if for whatever reason you upload a, a, a product that, that isn't getting any views or isn't getting any likes, well, and, and you don't want to jump the gun and you know do it within the first like couple days or a week. But if you leave it up there for a week and it doesn't accumulate any views and it doesn't accumulate you know the normal amount of likes that you like to see, well, then guess what? Take it down and slap it back up again. What that will do is more people, uh, depending on the e-commerce platform, and I haven't cracked the Mercari code for this actual you know actually yet. But what I would venture to assume is just like any of the other e-commerce platforms, Mercari uh, suggests different items that are uploaded to different people that are active on the platform at that period in time, or will be active on the platform at that period in time uh, in the near future, and are more inclined to like items like that. They always that's how they're going to suggest these products because, as you'll know, there's no uh, you know can't you can't pay for ads or anything on this this thing other than the promote button. So they're organically suggesting stuff if people aren't searching for it. So if you simply take it down 
and re-upload it at a different time, whether that's a week later, a month later, or whatever. Um, or something. some other things you can do is change up the description a little bit, change up the category, change up the hashtags. There's You're allowed three hashtags. And you might get more visibility. So that's just a simple growth hack. If your, your, your things aren't getting views for whatever reason, if they're not getting the likes that you want for whatever reason, after a period of time has elapsed that's significant, then simply re-upload the listing, and if they don't sell or they're not getting views, that will make a difference and you will see it.